Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I bought that Drambo. It's pretty cool. But I uh, had a few initial frustrations sort of sending some MIDI controllers out. So I thought, you know, I can't be the only stupid person with an iPad, can I? So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial, save you a bit of frustration. Uh, right then. Right, I got drum. I got your iPod. Is see there? Right then. Right, what a track needs first needs a, a MIDI output. Let's get rid of that. You swipe to get away with some, get rid of something. Some MIDI. Du, 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 du. MIDI output. Right then. So with a spot of luck. Oh yeah. See that? Oh, in the green box, those little things. You've actually got to turn it on as well. Uh, still not working. Oh, I remember why. You've got to connect it up in a UM. So across the top, you look, Drambo. You get in. Connected to your core or policy. That's an AUM finger anyway, really. Yep, and to send a MIDI knob, right, what you want to create is in miscellaneous, down here's your knob, then it's connected to in generators is it no it's midi midi you want a cc generator in there you pick your controller number which is 74 for the cutoff on the r policy anyway you'll have to look on charts for what that is see i pr press that button that's now flashing See how it doesn't do anything because you've got to put in another MIDI output. Oh, press that Oops. green dots to turn it on again. And of course, you'd have to you'd have to repeat that for every knob you want to send. But what you can do instead is create an instrument rack. Right, if you were to select those, copy them, press the purple button, or the paste button, bottom right, you've created an instrument rack. And um, you could actually paste in more knobs, and what, what you'd have to do is there you go. hidden in compact view hidden in compact view hidden in compact view hidden in compact view Well, uh, you'd have a couple of knobs and they're both sending to whatever the value is in there. Still the same one. There you go, so. Show you the sequencer. You just press a step. It puts in your selected note. <laughs> press an old step.
I think it'll be pretty good because essentially the the overview. Hang on, uh, wait a minute. This. Yeah, this track sequencer, of course, you can see. If you look here, you. Yeah. However many that is, what is that? Ten tracks all at once, sort of thing. But yeah, there you go. Might as well show you uh, something else. Um, just besides the knob, it was um, an XY pad. So you can stick in a MIDI generator again, CC generator. CC generator, when you press to connect it, you select either your height, X or Y axis. Don't do anything, because you've got to send it to the MIDI out. MIDI output, don't forget to turn it on there. Yeah, but there you go. I hope that's helped you out anyway. 